Volcanic lightning, fire rainbows, black holes, or water spouts are awe-inspiring, but very rare. On the bright side, there's still something you can witness in real life. Solar tsunamis. Disastrous solar magnetic field collisions cause gargantuan tsunamis of plasma. These tsunamis tear across the sun's surface, moving at a speed of 1,000 feet per second. They often last weeks at a time and happen every decade or so. A supermoon. You can only see a huge bright ball in the night sky three or four times a year. A supermoon is 13% bigger and 30% brighter than a regular full moon. You can see this phenomenon when the moon reaches its perigee, the closest the satellite comes to Earth in its elliptical orbit. A harvest moon. Giant and orange, a harvest moon appears in the sky close to the beginning of fall. In the times before electricity, farmers had to depend on the full moon's light to harvest crops late into the night. Fire rainbow. There must be a unique combination of several factors for a rare circumhorizontal arc to appear in the sky. The sun has to be high in the sky, not less than 58 degrees above the horizon. There must be wispy high-altitude cirrus clouds made up of hexagonal ice crystals. And these crystals, shaped like thick plates, must have their faces parallel to the ground. A stacker rainbow. If you'll ever see one or several narrow and more faintly colored bands next to a rainbow's violet edge, those are supernumerary bands, also known as a stacker rainbow. The tinier the water droplets in the air are, the broader and less saturated the bands become. Volcanic lightning Bolts of lightning can burst out of an erupting volcano, but they have nothing to do with the tectonic activity. When a cylinder-shaped column of volcanic ash rises into the air during eruptions, there's often too much friction between ash particles. Static electricity builds up, and suddenly, wham-bam, a lightning bolt tears through the volcanic plume. Nacreous clouds These colorful clouds form extremely high in the atmosphere, twice the commercial airplane cruising altitude. The air at such heights is especially dry and cold. Ice crystals in nacreous clouds are much smaller than those that form more common clouds. That's why they scatter light in a different way, creating the iridescent appearance. Fire whirls Fire whirls look like spinning columns of ash and flames. They begin with a swirl of wind, which then combines with the heat from a raging fire. This creates a rotating eddy of air that grows into a vortex that pulls in burning debris. Particularly huge fire whirls can reach 1,000 feet in height. Penitentes These icy spires grow over snow-covered and glaciated regions in the dry Andes, at the height of more than 13,000 feet. Some penitentes are just several inches tall, while others reach 16 feet, around three human heights. A black hole Not even light can escape this ultra-dense object's gravitational pull. That's why no black hole can ever be seen. But the scorching hot disk of material surrounding it shines bright enough for a black hole to stand out against this backdrop. Astronomers used data collected by eight radio observatories on four continents to piece together an image of a black hole. It was the hole in Messier 87, a big galaxy 55 million light-years away from Earth. Water spouts Water spouts look like funnel-shaped clouds reaching down from stormy skies. Most of them don't pull in water, they're rather weak rotating columns of air hovering above the water surface. Some water spouts begin as dry land tornadoes. Then they travel toward a body of water and turn into severe thunderstorms with hail, high winds, and lightning. 
Moonbows There are much rarer phenomena than rainbows. A moonbow is caused by moonlight rather than direct sunlight, and the moon has to be near full. Moonbows are dim and often seem to be white. They have the entire spectrum, though. The human eye is just not sensitive enough to catch all the colors. Meteor showers During this event, you won't need a telescope to enjoy stargazing. Meteor showers happen when streams of cosmic debris enter our planet's atmosphere at lightning-fast speeds. Meteors all move along parallel trajectories. The glowing streaks appear in different spots, but their tails all point back to the same place in the sky. The best time to see meteor showers is after midnight. Whirlpools These bodies of rotating water appear when two opposing currents meet or when a current runs into an obstacle. The most powerful of them are called maelstroms. Their flow currents can reach speeds of 20 to 25 miles per hour. You can hear the roar coming from such whirlpools from miles away. Rainbow clouds Also called iridescent clouds, they form on top of cotton-like cumulus clouds after thunderstorms. Cumulus clouds are low-level ones and usually hover at a height of not higher than 6,000 feet. When water vapor in them condenses, water droplets act as prisms, forming multicolored caps over the clouds. Supernova Thanks to powerful space telescopes, people can now observe these luminous and powerful stellar explosions. Not all stars fade away. Some of them burn out and end their lives in massive cosmic blasts. Supernova. During such an explosion, the matter gets cast out into space at 9,000 to 25,000 miles per second. Hypernova Astronomers believe hypernova can be the most powerful explosions in the universe since the times of the Big Bang. They're likely to produce 100 times more energy than supernova. It's still unclear what causes hypernova. It might be an explosion of a rapidly spinning, extremely massive star. Or this star might have a particularly strong magnetic field. A Ring of Fire Solar Eclipse this kind of solar eclipse is also called annular. This name comes from the Latin word annulus, a ring. It occurs when the moon passes in front of the sun but doesn't cover its face completely, leaving a brilliant, shining ring around the dark center. Pele's hair lava These thin threads may look golden and pretty, but they're very dangerous to pick up. The wind sometimes catches small droplets of lava coming from active volcanoes. These droplets get carried miles away from the vent and are stretched into super-thin glass wires, also called hair lava. Some strands can be as long as 6 feet. Fog bows They're almost white with pale blues on the inside and faint reds on the outside. You have higher chances of seeing a fog bow over water when warm air comes into contact with much colder water. This phenomenon also occurs when the sun is bright and the fog is thin enough for the light to get through. Aurora This stunning phenomenon is also called northern lights when it occurs in the northern hemisphere, and when taking place in the southern hemisphere, they're called guess. Yeah, southern lights. Auroras happen in Earth's upper atmosphere. They're caused by fast-moving solar winds that strike the planet's magnetic bubble called the magnetosphere. Auroras can take different shapes, from arcs and luminous curtains to patches and bands. An electric blue volcano Kaiwaijen volcano in Indonesia emits hot and flammable sulfurous gases. They burst through the rocky surface and come into contact with oxygen. It creates bright blue flames that can shoot up to 16 feet into the air. Some of these gases condense into liquid sulfur. Burning, it flows down the slopes and gives an impression of electric blue molten lava. Catatumbo Lightning There's a place in Venezuela where the Catatumbo River empties into Lake Maracaibo. 
That's where a unique phenomenon occurs during up to 160 days per year. Lightning flashes over the lake's surface more often than anywhere else in the world, up to 280 times in an hour, 10 hours a day. Halo. It's a breathtaking optical phenomenon occurring when the light from the sun or the moon gets reflected from ice crystals in the atmosphere. Halos can look like white or colored rings, arcs, or simply spots in the sky. The most common halo types are the circular halo, also called the 22-degree halo, light pillars, and sun dogs. Jupiter's Great Red Spot The world saw this unique phenomenon in the photos taken by Voyager 1. An enormous red hurricane, twice bigger than Earth, has been raging on Jupiter for at least a century and a half. Winds that are rather calm at the storm's center travel at a speed of 270 to 420 miles per hour on its edges. That's more than twice faster than the most powerful storms on Earth. 